Hey, welcome back to today's edition of State of the Arts. I'm Richard Feniger. And I'm Peggy Nelson. And we're coming to you courtesy of WPKN 89.5 on your FM dial. We stream worldwide wherever you might be, and we're into podcasting. And so far on today's show, we have spoken with Sean Harris, who is directing the Scottsboro Boys at the Playhouse on Park in West Hartford, Connecticut. We just got off the line with Maria Bilbao, who plays Gloria Estefan. Uh, in On Your Feet at the Westchester Broadway Theater. And right now we have Mr. Ian Galligan on the line. He is the director of Gypsy, the musical, and he is the vice president of the Castle Craig Players in Meriden, Connecticut. Welcome to State of the Arts, Ian. Hi, Ian. Thank you. Thank you uh, for having me. Well, I think it's great. And I was so impressed when I got the press release talking about your uh, uh, getting the special costumes for your production of Gypsy. I think a lot of theaters would like to have access. Uh, <laughs> and I'll let you tell everybody what access we're talking about, because he's been in the news with the Share Show in yeah. New York. Yes. So we were lucky to be able to get the Bob Mackie designed costumes um, from the 1993 uh, television version of Gypsy with Bette Midler. Um if you know the show, it's oh, yeah. very costume-specific. Uh, it's not something you can pull out of general stock, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> between the three strippers and Baby June and the cow and all, you know, it's a very specific show. So we had spent several weeks trying to uh, trying to find rental costumes um, from various warehouses and, and theaters across the country. And we saw some really great stuff, some really not great stuff. Um, and I, I happened to reach out to the TDF, costume collection um in that's New the York. theater Debe uh, development fund yeah yes and i i'd been to their warehouse a few times and it's just incredible i mean yes. it's the amount of stuff they have and it's beautifully organized and um and i you know i just said do you have gypsy and they said we do we have you know two different packages and i said you know well do you have any photos before I schlep into the city. And they said, well, we don't have any photos, but if you watch the Bette Midler Gypsy, we have all of that. And so I was just like, all right, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we we, um, we went down, we took a look at them, we, we rented um, most of what they have from the Bob Mackie, and as well as some additional pieces from the 2003 Bernadette Peters revival. Um, that were designed by Anthony Ward. Uh -huh. um, so we have some incredible pieces um, on that stage to go uh -huh. on some incredible talent that we have. So, oh. I mean, did you have to cast the person based on the costume? Well, we <laughs> cast the show at that point, so we really lucked out um, oh my gosh. That, that things just happened to, to fit. Um, you know, little alterations here and there, but um, so we, we were thankful that it all uh, I've always wondered about that. When you rent something, you can alter it. You can you, you can do minor alterations. Um, minor alterations. Yeah. Okay. You know. And and, apart, and and then you must have to like take tremendous care of these costumes oh, and have yes, a place to store them. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this. I mean, this just just the quality of these is uh, they're so the beading is so delicate and intricate. So you know, it's super. It's like when it's not. Um, the actor, it's on the shelf behind lock and key. You know what I mean? Like, so. Yes, I do know exactly how you mean. You don't want someone walking off with Bob right. Mackie stuff. Yeah, but, uh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> At mean, the same time, I can just imagine mm -hmm. what an actor right. must feel like oh, putting it on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it must be My, uh, a part of the uh, character mm -hmm. uh, creation. Mm -hmm. They feel more like whatever the yeah. costume is. Well, I is. think you always feel that with a costume. I mean, I do. Oh, if, yeah. As soon as I put a costume on or even uh, start to wear the heels or whatever the character is wearing, I start to feel more like the character. But yeah. if I was in something that Bob Mackie had designed and that uh, Bernadette Peters or anybody, Bette Midler, yeah. had worn, it would just, yeah. it would be such an inspiration. We had that experience the other night when... Um Lauren Lynn, who plays my Mama Rose, she put on one of the, the jackets, the, the long coats, and, you know, just between the, the Bob Mackie and then, oh, my God, Bette Midler wore this, you know. <laughs> and we, we even took her photo and put it, you know, side by side with a screenshot from the movie. So It probably oh. has her name on a, on the inside of it, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. yeah. They all do. Christine Nebersole, you know, uh, was Tessie Tara. Um, 
so her stuff is is all there. It's got her name in it. It was built for them. Gosh, what yeah. what lucky actors! My yes. gosh, yes. and you know it's it's interesting. I I live pretty close to Meriden. I I'm I'm really surprised that I haven't heard more about your theater you group. I've I've, I've heard about day. it never... because I was in a show with Joe Culp, and her oh yeah her brother was doing a show. Um, it was about Shakespeare, the a bridge. I was in that with him. Yes, yeah. I know. Uh, and so I, I heard about that's that's the first time I had heard about your yeah. theater group was through was through Josie Culp, and um, and that's when I would seen a picture of you and and her brother and the other yeah. actor, who and, and and I read the reviews which were fabulous. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. This, yeah, how old is this theater for, group? Uh, this is our. We're, this is the end of our twenty sixth season. So, oh, wow. uh, are you kidding me? In, in nineteen ninety two, yeah. <laughs> um, I can't believe I. I'm, yeah, oh. and we've been in that same space. Um, we've done a lot with it, um, mm. you know, technical wise, and you know, rebuilt the stage and everything. And right. um, we're we're a cabaret style theater too. So it's tables and chairs instead of traditional seating. Um, so people, we open the doors an hour early and people bring the food and wine and it, it just makes oh, for a really nice I night love out. That. And that lends itself so well to gypsy. Absolutely. Of course. It really yeah. does. Yes. Yes. Well, how many yes. people can you sit? We, can you it's see? very small. We seat 60. <gasps> Oh, so that's wonderful. So we, we tend that's to sell so out great. super oh. quick, but it makes for such an intimate experience, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, There's but, not a bad seat. And... What made you decide to do Gypsy, by the way? I um, mean, you know, I, I haven't kind of, seen it done in so long. Yeah, and I, I kind of realize now why people don't do it, because it's such a big undertaking. <laughs> yes, but, it is. Um, it, there's a... I cut my bucket list of shows. It's been on okay. there. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I love the classics. I love Gypsy. I love Hello Dolly. I love Mame, um, and those don't get done a lot. You know, and um, so this was up there. Um, Company, which we did last summer, I directed as well. That was one on my my list. I like shows that you can really dig into the characters, mm-hmm. and and be, especially with this show because they're based on real people right? and there's mm-hmm. so many books about Gypsy Rose Lee and about her mother and, um, you know, June Havoc, who was baby June. Yes. Um, right. so it's, it's, it just becomes, it gives you this great opportunity for so much table work, which I love. Um, you know, we've had entire rehearsals where we just sit around and, and read and talk and analyze. And it just, it really makes the actor character connection so much stronger well it's so great because mama really wants to do what she's setting up for her kids yeah and she wants that spotlight and she just doesn't get it and sometimes Mm -hmm. oh she does have one moment where uh, she is in the spotlight but yeah it's a great story about family relationships having to do with theater yeah. yeah. It's yep. one of the greatest American musicals. I, you know, I've, I've always the think of that. Yeah. But I, I agree. I think, you know, there's there's not much, there's not many others like it. There's um, something when you hear that music, you know, let me entertain you. And yeah. it, for anyone who is part of the performing arts community, you, you kind of feel like it's your theme song, right? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. just love that. And, uh, you know, all the songs are just, everything's coming up roses and some uh, people. Know. And, I know. You know, it's such a great yeah. score. And, it is. And, and script. It's beautiful. Um, what what's uh, what kind of orchestration or what are you doing? What are you, we have um, six pieces. So, wow. you know, we took down the, I think it was written for like 30 pieces, but... Right. So we, we we make it what we have. So we have um, reeds and trumpet, trombone, uh, percussion, keyboard, and something else. Are they on stage or uh... they are um, actually behind the stage? Yeah, behind the stage. So, well, you don't yeah. want anything bigger than that because that would sort of overwhelm what's going yeah. on on stage and, 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 and sort yeah. of blow yeah. out everybody. Well, we I, absolutely, yeah. in that cabaret kind of setting, yeah. it's perfect. Yeah. And our actors aren't mic'd because it's such a small space, so we have to keep that in mind yeah. about, uh, you know. Okay. About the music, too. Well, I uh, think it's great. Where do, do all of your actors come from the Meriden area? Actually, no. We, we not even just with this show, we kind of tend to bring in actors from all over. We have people from up from Windsor and Bloomfield down to um, Fairfield, uh, somebody for, as far as Greenwich, you know. Um, wow. So they really do come from all over the place. Yeah. What 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 else are you doing this season? Um, we just announced uh, this is the last show of this season, and then okay. in the fall um, we are doing uh, Star Spangled Girl. It's a Neil Simon, mm-hmm. and then Almost Maine. Oh yes, oh, that's yeah. fun. 
And then um, a holiday show, which I cannot announce yet, but hopefully in the next few days I'll get the green light on that. We're just waiting for rights and licensing oh, okay. approval. And then after that, um, we're doing Next to Normal. Oh, and, wow. Uh, which I'm directing. That's powerful. With, yeah. yeah. And then um, Steel Magnolias. Huh? Oh, fun. And then this time next year will be Sweeney Todd. Oh, nice. Sweeney Todd. Keeping yeah. in that same vein Keeping of things that, that are... Yes. Yeah. Do you have so open auditions? Like summer Sondheim, because, you know, last, last year we did Company. This is right. li- Sondheim lyrics. Sweeney Todd, obviously. Oh. Um, I don't know if you heard my question. Do you have I'm open sorry. auditions? Or? Well, we do. We you do. do. Okay. And when, yeah, everything, when? we always put it on our website. We have a Facebook page. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm going to look into this. I'm, I, I definitely want to come up and see a show. Yes. I love that. Uh, it's, right. It sounds And go too... see the Bob Mackie costume. Yes. Oh my That's yes. great. Yes. Yes. Moving quickly. So, yes. so uh, okay. what a coup. Congratulations. It really is. Oh, yes. yes. Now, it's called Gypsy, a Musical Fable, and it's presented yeah. by the Castle Craig Players, and it opens July 26th, so you've got a lot of time yet to figure out what the dates would be, and it runs through August 10th, and it's at the Almira F. Stephan, or Stephen. Stephan? Stephen. Yeah. Okay. Memorial Playhouse at 59 West Main Street in Meriden, Connecticut. And you can go to their website and get all the information that Ian has been talking about with us. And the website is castlecraig.org. Or you can call toll-free at 1-800-838-3008. Three zero zero six. Ian, thank you again for taking the time to join us. It sounds like you're going to have a fabulous mm. production. It's great thank to you. talk to you. We're looking to forward you. to it.